Huntress's ability to snipe and injure survivors from almost any point on the map is one of the most satisfying feelings in Dead by Daylight. Today, we're going to go over some tips and tricks to help you land more long-range snipes in your games. First of all, let's talk about setup. Ideally, you want to have as big a mouse pad as possible with a clean desk. This allows you to use both your wrist and your arm to aim, instead of just your wrist. Being able to make micro adjustments to your aim will improve your accuracy. Many players have their sensitivities way too high. Personally, I run 600 DPI and 15% in-game sense. With my mousepad, I am just able to fully spin 180 degrees comfortably. This does make me slightly more prone to missing close-up targets, or even worse, getting spun, but it significantly improves my aim from range, which is where most of your shots will come from anyway. Experiment and see what works for you, but if you don't main Huntress, I can almost guarantee you you're playing with way too high of a sensitivity. The next point I want to make is you need to have a good understanding of where the center of your screen is. The longer the shot is, the more accurate you need to be with your aim. This precision comes with practice and hours, so don't get discouraged if you aren't hitting 100% of your shots. Keep at it and try following some of the other tips I have here. I highly recommend messing around on a custom game and working on long range shots if you're struggling. Now, some players will choose to use a crosshair or a piece of tape on their screen, but this can easily turn into a crutch and isn't necessary. You can always use the W and throw hatchets to help find the middle of your screen. So how can we work on improving consistency? Survivors are much easier to hit when they aren't aware they're your target. And obviously it's easiest to hit survivors who are standing still or performing an action. Most of your long range hatchets should be fully charged shots. There are some situations where you should do a lob shot, but we'll touch on those later. Fully charging your hatchets eliminates another variable you need to worry about with your snipes. By not having to account for power, you'll only really have to worry about timing and aim. Keep in mind though, the shimmer your hatchet makes can be heard around just about the entire map, so good survivors may become cautious and seek cover. It's very important your hatchet lands in a spot where it has a chance to hit survivors. This may sound obvious, but imagine you were playing soccer and taking a penalty kick. It wouldn't matter whether or not there is a keeper and goal if you missed wide of the posts. Similarly, if your hatchet is going to hit a tree or a wall in front of you, it doesn't matter whether or not there's a survivor there. The most important thing above all else is placing your hatchet in a location where it has a chance to hit survivors. The rest comes after. Finding the appropriate lineup and trajectory for a shot is very important. As I mentioned earlier, there will be some situations where the best play is to lob a hatchet. Similarly to charge shots, I recommend releasing lobbed hatchets immediately to improve muscle memory and consistency. Most of the time, you will use the lob shot to shoot over the top of walls or obstacles. Shooting over these is often unexpected, as survivors won't think they're being targeted. Another cool use case for these lob shots is catching survivors who are rotating to another tile. These survivors will most likely expect you to fully charge a shot at some point. And yes, in most situations, this is certainly a good idea. However, if the survivor has some distance or isn't looking behind them, I recommend lobbing a shot. These shots will catch them off guard and oftentimes they'll just run right into the hatchet. It's easy for a survivor to not hear the sound of your windup or they'll be waiting to hear the sound of a fully charged shot if they're at range. But make sure you don't overdo it. This is something you should be throwing in once or twice a game, not something you should exclusively be doing all game long. The key is catching survivors off guard and that's what the next tip helps with. And that is, winding up your hatchets around cover or behind line of sight. If you're planning to fully charge your shot, try and time it so you are peeking around the corner right as your hatchet finishes charging, and then releasing immediately after. As I mentioned, good survivors will try and identify where you are aiming from as soon as they hear the hatchet charge. Additionally, if you act as if you're aiming for another target, real or not, you can catch survivors out of position. It persuades them to continue whatever action they were previously doing, moving them out of cover. 
Finally, let's talk about hitting long shots on survivors who know they're your target. At a certain range, aware survivors actually have a good amount of time to react to a throw. These survivors will almost always dodge your hatchet, especially if they're being cocky and not moving. So if you see a survivor looking behind them without juking side to side, or you see a survivor that knows your location working on a generator or a gate, aim to the side of them. You'll usually catch them dodging into it. That just about wraps up this video. I hope I persuaded some of you to go for more long shots and hopefully taught you something. If you like this video, please consider dropping a like. If you want to see more Huntress content and tips, consider subscribing or check me out live at twitch.tv slash dadbodshuffle.